Oh, hey. Will you look at that? Here's some random disc. Maybe it might be fun to see what happens if I pop this bad boy in my good old PlayStation 2. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my goodness. So this nightmare fuel, as some may regard it, is the infamous Red Screen of Death. The Red Screen of Death is displayed when the PlayStation 2 knows a disc is in the console, but it is unusable to the BIOS for some reason. Common reasons are that the disc isn't in the PlayStation 1 or 2 format, it doesn't pass the copy protection test, or there's some unknown error on the disc. It could also mean the laser is dirty or even malfunctioning, in which case the console probably needs maintenance or repair. Personally, I've never found this screen to be particularly eerie or intimidating, but there are many who do. I can kind of understand why, though. The sounds on the red screen of death are contained in the BIOS. I've loaded these sounds into a synthesizer, and I'll play them. Now, it won't sound exactly like the Red Screen of Death's version, because I don't know the specific playback frequencies used. I'll just mess around here and kind of fudge it. You know, these sounds are exactly the same ones played in the menu screens, but at a lower pitch. Eh, I don't know. To me, it's more relaxing than eerie, but there are many creepy things that I find calming and kind of weird like that. The Red Screen of Death is one of the most notorious error screens in console gaming. It's a good way to let the user know that something has gone very wrong. The console appears to just loop through a sequence of the sounds and the foggy cube animation, but what would happen if we just let it play for hours on end, or even days? How about weeks? Would something far more unsettling appear on the screen if we waited long enough? By the way, the PlayStation 2 will play audio CDs just like the original PlayStation, and it will also play DVDs. These discs will usually be recognized without any issues. Rumor has it that it will identify an Xbox game and let the user know, hey, this is an Xbox game, stick it in the Xbox, dummy! Something like that. I've never seen that happen, but it would be kind of amusing if true. For me, though, the Windows blue screen of death is far more frightening because it usually means something is very wrong with the hardware, or at the very least something went horribly wrong with the operating system and was unrecoverable. Alright, that about wraps it up. As always, thank you very much for watching everyone.